a young prince lived in a shining castle. Although he had everything his heart desired, the prince was spoiled, selfish, unkind. But then one winter's night, an old beggar woman came to the castle and offered him a single rose in return for shelter from the bitter cold. Repulsed by her haggard appearance, the prince sneered at the gift and turned the old woman away. But she warned him not to be deceived by appearances, for beauty is found within. And when he dismissed her again, the old woman's ugliness melted away to reveal the beautiful enchantress. The prince tried to apologize, but it was too late, for she had seen that there was no love in his heart. As punishment, she transformed him into a hideous beast and placed a powerful spell on the castle of all who lived there. Ashamed of his monstrous form, the beast concealed himself inside his castle with a magic mirror as its only window to the outside world. The rose she had offered was truly an enchanted rose, which had bloomed for many years. If he could learn to love another and earn their love in return by the time the last petal fell, then the spell would be broken. If not, he would be doomed to remain a beast for all time. As the years passed, he lost all hope and fell into despair, for who could ever learn to love a beast?
I'm afraid she's rather harsh. She's nothing like the rest of us. Now go for that matter. It's true, my fool. And I've got my sights set on that. The adventure started? She's the one. The lucky girl I'm going to marry. But she's the most beautiful girl in town. I know, but I... that makes her the best. And don't I deserve the best? Oh, thank you. Right from the moment when I met her, saw her. And I fell. You're a talentless boy, she who is painted for as me. So I made you pass for me. Papa. 
Uh, so, uh, did you have a good time in town today? I got a new book. Oh, you do love those books. Well, they take me away to wonderful places, full of adventure and mystery and romance and happy endings. Papa, if I ask you something, will you answer me honestly? Oh, don't I always? Do you think I'm odd? My daughter? Odd? <laughs> Where'd you get an idea like that? I don't know. It's just that, well, people talk. Well, they talk about me, too. You know you're not odd, it's true. No family's ever seen her, except one uncle who, well, maybe let that pass. In all you say and do, you couldn't make it by now. You are your mother's daughter, therefore you are class.
triumph of design will be my old age's contrib. That is provided I can find the fair at all. Mr. Mr. Sign should have paid attention. Rats. Well, 
It's not going to work this time. Me? What about you, Wick? Simon? Jack? Michel? Pierre? Veronica? Oh, Veronica. Louis, oh. <laughs> yeah, listen to me. We've got to get him out of here. You any idea what the master will do if he finds out we let a stranger in? Calm yourself, Cosworth. The master will never have to know. <laughs> No, no, there is absolutely no reason to panic. Whom he has right. There's absolutely no reason to panic. <laughs> May I borrow this? <laughs> <laughs> There's a stranger here. Oh, master, uh, allow me to explain. Uh, the gentleman was set upon by bull. Who let him in? Master, I would like to take this opportunity to say I was against it from the start. Who dare disobey me? Yeah. You have all betrayed me! Who are you? Uh, Maurice. What are you doing in my castle? I, I lost my way in the woods. You're not welcome here! I I'm, I'm sorry, I'll just be you. Ah! It's hideous. No, 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 I didn't know. You've come to stare at the beast, haven't you? No, I'm sorry. I just needed a place to stay for the night. I'll give you a place to stay. Two. 
just couldn't keep quiet, could we? Just had to invite him in to stay, didn't we? So can he sit in the master's chair? I was trying to be hospitable. Rubbish. Oh, Codsworth, can you blame me for trying to maintain what's left of our humanity? Uh, look at us. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> what about me? Well, you always were insufferable, but every day you become just a little more inflexible, a little more tightly wound, a little more picked off, a little more alarmed. Please, spare me the stupid puns. Well, at least we are not as far gone as some of the others. Uh, you saw what happened to Michelle. She always was too vain about her looks. And that's exactly what she's become. A vanity. Draws <laughs> nearer the works. And poor Jean Claude. Who? Jean Claude, you remember him? Uh, not too bright, dumb as a. Uh, a brick. As a whole wall. <laughs> Jean Claude, a brick wall. Is that him in the kitchen? Behind the stove? And you know Guillaume, the houseboy? <laughs> Mealy mouth was a food liquor. I never liked him, always groveling at the master's feet. He's a doormat. <laughs> Perfect. Well, all I know is I will eventually welt away to nothing, and I can only hope that there's something left of me if the master ever breaks a spell. Why did we have to get dragged into this whole spell business? It's not like we turn that poor old beggar woman out on her ear. No, but uh, are we not responsible too for helping to make him the way he is? I suppose so. Yeah. All I know, like I said, I'm going to melt away to nothing. You've got to hold on, old man. Hold on. I know. Hello? Is anyone here? Hello? It's a girl. Yes, of course I can see it's a girl. It's, it's a girl! girl. <laughs> oh, that's it! Lumia, I'm in charge here. Let me do all of the talking. <laughs> here. Let me do most of the talking. A word, just a word, that's all I'm asking for. Mama, Mama, you're not going to believe what I saw. Not in a million thousand years, not in a trillion million thousand years. Yes, dear? No, really, this is the greatest thing, that, the thing that everybody's been waiting for since, 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 I don't know when. All right, Chip, what is it? There's a girl in the castle. Let's not told him that be lovely. But there is, I saw her. Now, Chip, I'll not have you making up wild stories. It never was hopes up for no reason. Oh, Mrs. Woods, did you hear the devastating girl in the castle? See, I told you, and she's real pretty too. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> this is the one. The girl we have been waiting for, she has come to break the spell. Wait a minute, wait a minute, let's not be hasty. This is wonderful, after all these years, oh happy, happy day. Stop that, stop that. We should tell the others, no? Yes, I mean, no. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hello? You must go, now! I won't leave you here! Who's there? I know someone's there, who are you? The master of this castle. Then you're the one responsible for this. 
Release my father at once! I am the master of this castle. I will not take orders from anyone. Throw her out! No! Wait! Forgive me, please! Let him out! Can't you see? He's not well. Then he should not have trespassed here! But he's an old man! He can die! He came into my home uninvited! And I will suffer the consequences. Please! I'll do anything! No! There's nothing you can do. Wait! Please! I said there's nothing you can do! Take me instead. No! What did you say? Take me instead. No! You don't know what you're doing. <laughs> you would do that? You would take his place? If I did, would you let him go? Yes. But you must promise to remain here. Forever. No! Forever? Forever. Or he dies in the dungeon. That's not fair. Wait. Come into the light. Make your choice. Well, listen to me. I'm an old man. I've lived my life. You have my word. Done! <laughs> no, please, I beg you. Please, spare my daughter. Take him to the crossroads. No! Not yet, please! Let her go! No! 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 Staying with us for quite some time, you might want to offer her a more comfortable room. You didn't even let me say goodbye. What? I'll never see him again. And I didn't even get a chance to say goodbye. I'll show you your room. My room? But I thought. Do you want to stay in the dungeon? No. Then follow. Follow me. This is your home now. You may go anywhere you like except for the West Wing. Why? What's in the West It's forbidden. You must promise to never go there. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. This is your room. If you need anything, my servants will attend to you. And one more thing. You will join me for dinner. That is not a request.
got a black cup of tea. Come in. Nothing like a warm cup of tea to make the world seem a bit brighter. But you're a... you're... Mrs. Potts, dear. Very pleased to make your acquaintance. Careful, darling! Who are you? Who are you? Madame de la Grande Bush! Perhaps you've heard of me? Sorry. You see? They've forgotten all about me. One can be a guy, quote. The toast of your... The brightest star ever to grace this stage! And fall under one little spell. Shh! Wait. This is impossible. I know it is. Oh, here we are. Now, what are we going to dress you in for dinner? This is... Nice. <laughs> but how would you like to wear one of my guys? Let's see what I have on yours. Oh, here it is. Oh, I wore this the night I performed at the Royal Opera. The king himself was there. But I wouldn't have a prayer of fitting into it now. You have it. Take it. That's very kind of you, but I won't be going to dinner. Uh, don't be silly. Of course you are. You know what the master said. He might be your master, but he's not mine. Uh, I'm sorry. This, this is all just happening so fast. That was a very brave thing you did, my dear. I'm going to miss my father so much. Cheer up, child. You mustn't despair. We are here to see you soon. Even when taking your lumps, 
Jones, we must go at once. Oh, slow down, Maurice. Who's got Bell locked in a dungeon? It's a beast, a horrible, monstrous beast. <laughs> Big yellow eyes. Yes, yes. With a long, ugly snout. Oh, and hideously ugly. And sharp, cool face. Yes, yes. Will you help me? Will you help All me? All right, old man. We'll help you out. Oh, thank, thank you. Oh, all right, then. I'll go back there and get myself. Crazy old Maurice. He's always good for a laugh. Crazy old Maurice. But that wacky old cootie spells far, and his sanity is only so so. Now the wheels in my head have been turned since I looked at that loony old man. See, I promised myself I'd be married to Belle, and right now I'm evolving a plan. If I. Yes? Then we. Yes. Now I get it. Let's go! No one was a guest of his chief shots. Yes, I did. Oh, he's a king of his great pots. I get that. Yes, I meant personally while he was useful. And that, with that, he said, I won't even be violent or forced. Just as long as you get what you want in the end. Who has great Of course I have. I'm not a fool. Good. 
Let's uh, You fall in love with her, she falls in love with you, and poof, the spell is broken. The human to get by midnight. Lumiere, <laughs> it's not that easy. These things take time. But we don't have time. The rose has already begun to wilt. It's no use. She's, she's so beautiful, and, and I'm... Well, look at me! He has a point. Master, <laughs> <laughs> you must help us to see past all that. I don't know how. Well, you could start by trying to make yourself more presentable. Straighten up. Try to act like a gentleman. Impress her with your rapier wit. But be gentle. Shower her with compliments. But be sincere. And <laughs> above all, what? You must control your temper. Well, what? <laughs> Where is she? Who? <laughs> oh, the girl. Uh, actually, she's in the process of circumstances. Think what they are. She's not coming. She's not coming. What did you say? <laughs> you'll see about that. Your lordship, your eminence, your grace, as we stand aside. I thought I told you to come down to dinner. I'm not hungry. I am not master of this castle, and I want you to come down to dinner. And I'm telling you, I'm not hungry. You're hungry if I say you're hungry. What did you say? You can't go around ordering people to be hungry. It doesn't work like that. I can't. It does. It's rude. Oh, rude is it? Well, how about this? If you do not come down to dinner, then I will drag you by the hair and ask me, Master. Uh, that may not be the best way to win the girl's affection. Please <laughs> <laughs> attempt to be a gentleman. Why is she being so difficult? Why are you being so difficult? Why are you being such a bully? Because I want you to come down to dinner. So, you admit you're being a bully. Deep mm. breaths, master. Deep breaths. <laughs> we will give her one last chance. Would you be so kind as to join me for dinner? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Please. No, thank you. Fine. Then stop! Master, please! If she doesn't eat with me, then she doesn't eat at all. Oh, what were we thinking? We will never be human again! Oh, it appears. Well, what would you two have us do? Give up! I can't give up until I hear the sound of my little boy's laughter as he rips through these holes again! Quite right, Mrs. Potts. We mustn't give up while there's still a chance. Lumia, stand watch at the door. Inform me the moment there's the slightest change. We won't cut the time. I ask her to dinner, but she refuses. What does she want me to do? Beg! Show me the girl.
act like a gentleman.
full of cotton sticks, and it's all in the thick tape that you can get. Go on and lick your bathroom on your own free bathroom. We all get, it's your sweat, it's fine dining, Mr. Gibbs. We all get, we all get, we all get. We all get.
sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I didn't mean to frighten you. You don't, you don't understand. There's so little left of you. so little left. It's not true if I can't. 